Let's create an amortization schedule for mortgage or housing loan, this time with variable interest rates. Some banks don't fix their rate for the entire tenor of the loan. They only fix it, for example, for one year, two years, five years, and after that, they will reprice your loan based on the prevailing interest rate at that time. It could be lower than your prevailing interest rate or it could be higher depending on your uh, credit payments or the market conditions at the time of repricing. So let's get started. Let's put in here the loan amount. Let's say this is 100,000. Let's fix this to look good. Then your the tenor of the loan or the number of years you want to make payments, say 30 years. Let's convert that to number of months which you will make monthly payments. So that's the number of months. Now let's do the amortization schedule. We'll type in here month and then the interest rate per period. And then the beginning loan balance. And then your monthly amortization which is dependent on the interest rate that's charged on your loan. Then the interest component of that amortization, the principal component of that amortization, and then your ending loan balance at the end of the period that you make some payments. All right. So let's put here the value of zero. You will understand why I put a value of zero here because we will connect that to a formula. All right. So here, the ending loan balance, of course, is your loan amount. So month one, okay. Let's say for example that your interest rate is fixed for one year. So let's do a 12 month tenor first. And we say that your interest rate will be the same for one year. Let's put in an interest rate here that's charged to you at say 6.5%. Okay, now let's fix the pain. So you will see all the labels later, all right? Since this will be the same, you just have to put an equal sign there and then double click this corner. There you go. So the interest charge on your loan each month is the same as 6.5 for the first 12 months because your interest rate is fixed for one year. So your beginning loan here, since you are not making any amortization payment, payments yet, is your ending loan with your original loan. The amortization now we can compute by using the formula function here you go look for the PMT function rate you use 6.5 percent and since this is a per year interest rate you have to divide this by 12 to get the monthly interest rate the number of periods always the remaining tenor of your loan when you are doing this amortization schedule so in this case the remaining tenor is still 360 months but we want it to be in formula so we will use the zero so we have to deduct this by number of months so when you say you make payment already for one month and you will now go to the month two the formula now will be 360 minus one remaining 10 is 359 months that's how I I put in the zero value there so we will fix the number 360 there by putting a dollar sign there all right, and then the PV is your remaining loan balance. In this case, you don't have any payment yet, so your balance still the same as hundred thousand. Okay, so I made a mistake there. Okay, let's put in here. Sorry for that mistake. All right. There you go. That's now your monthly amortization for 6.5% rate for the next 12 months. And you will know if your former is correct if that value is the same for the next 11 months. We will find out. Okay. Interest is simply the loan amount multiplied by your interest rate for that month. You have to divide this again by 12 because the per annum rate. And then the principal component of your amortization is the difference between your amortization and the interest. And therefore, your ending loan balance after one month payment is the difference between your original loan less the principal portion of payment that you made. Alright, now 
Let's now see if the formula works. We will just highlight this and then double click. Did the formula work? Yes. Because the amortization is the same for the next 12 months, the interest rate is the same. Because if you will change the interest rate, this amortization should also change. Now we're ready to create the remaining tenor of payments by simply dragging this down up to 360 months or 360 payments. All right. Go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's a long 360 month payment, okay? But we will reach there. All right, some more, some more. Oops, maybe it's enough. Let's take a look. 359, one more. If the number is zero, then what we did is, is correct. There you go, the balance is zero. All right. Now you have a 30 years amortization schedule with variable interest rate. So how this works? Okay, I mentioned that the interest rate is fixed for 12 months only. Therefore, on your 13th month, your interest rate may change. Say for example, after one year of payment, your bank charges you uh, lower than your amortization, lower than your lower interest rate than your prevailing one, say 5.25%. There you go, things change. But 5.25%, previously you were making payments of 632, now you're now paying, paying 553.84 dollars for your monthly amortization. So let's take a look if the balance is still zero. It should be zero. Okay, let's take a look here. All right, still zero, so which means what we did is really correct in creating this template. All right. Now, if for example, on the twenty-fourth month, the following year, your interest rate, the economy turns bad, the interest rate goes up. Say, it changed to seven percent. You can see here that the Amortization also changed from 553 to 661 dollars. Uh, so you pay $100 more. So this is useful when you take a loan from a bank wherein you only want to fix the interest rate for one year. You only do so when you think that the interest rate next year will go down or will just remain the same. But you may want to consider fixing the entire, fixing the rate for the entire tenor of the loan. If you are not sure what's going to be the interest rate a uh, few years from now, if, it's go if you think it's going high, you better fix the interest rate for so many periods of time so that it will not affect your finances. All right. So thanks for watching this video and some more in the next episodes.